Hey everyone, welcome to episode 8 of Nifty Knitting Ninja Podcast. It is Monday, January 12th? Yes, 12th. Okay. Um, don't have that much to show you guys this week, mainly because I've been busy running places. I worked crazy hours this last weekend, and so I haven't got much done, but I'll show you whatever I've got. But first, shout outs this week. Um, and you know, this is amazing because last week I think I had 19 subscribers. This week I have 25. So thank you guys. If I was having a bad day at work, I'd come home and see that I had a new subscriber and it just made my day. So thank you, thank you so much to everyone who keeps subscribing. Um, my first shout out goes to Knitting on YouTube. That's K-N-T-T-N-G. Um, my next shout out goes to Henrietta... Henrietta Handy, who is not afraid to knit on Ravelry. And the next one is Why I Knit. Uh, Kasotin loves music. I'm sorry, I'm not sure how to say that. Uh, Shana Shauna Broderick. Please correct me if I'm wrong on your name. Uh, Joe Knits. Wish Upon a Moonbeam. I'm sorry, that's Wish on a Moonbeam. And baby 26 girl. Thank you so much for subscribing everybody. And before I get into whatever I'm working on this morning, I want to tell you guys that I have created a Raverly group, a Nifty Knitting Ninja podcast over on Raverly. I created it last week, but I forgot to mention it and I still linked to it, but um yeah, only a few people went over there and interacted with the group. So um, if you guys are interested, head on over to Raverly to my group where I will be posting about any knit-alongs, any news, any upcoming things. Maybe I can't film on one day. But yeah, you guys are going to be knowing about all that over in the group. So head on over and join. I would love to interact with you guys and see what projects you're ready to share with me. Um, speaking of, of knit-alongs, by the way... I stickied it in the group that, um, if people wanted to knit along or not, and I only got two replies, but the verdict was yes. So, the project that I picked out for my knit along, and this is a free pattern as will most and any other knit alongs that I do because I'm not rich to buy patterns, I know everybody else is not rich to buy patterns, so they'll probably mostly be free. Um, the one that I picked out is the Boneyard Shawl by Stephen West and it's just a simple uh, triangle shawl but it's got like pearl ridges going through it and it's got a garter stitch edge so there is no time limit on this knit along um, you guys can do it out of any yarn that you like um, I'm not quite sure what yarn I'm doing it out of yet, but I saw a really cool picture that came from Flickr and I couldn't find it on Ravelry, so I'm kind of going to tweak that design myself. I'm going to, where the pearl rows are, I'm going to put eyelets and then I'm going to do like a Pico bind off at the end. So I'm going to change mine up a little bit. You guys change yours up as you see fit and I can't wait to see what you come up with. But with that being announced and said, I will get into whatever I'm working on. And, uh, since this came out first, I guess I'll show you guys this. This is the Boy Pattern Holder. It's got four magnets in it. And yes, that's my little sticky note to say where I am. Um, it holds the pattern very well. It's very portable. Um, you can stand it up. I love it because it stands up and I can look at the pattern without having to put my neck down like this and all the time. So, it's great. But, um, what I've currently been working on, really hard, trying to work on, and I'm in the middle of the row, I'm sorry, this is the last row that I work on this. This lovely little bit of business, the colors aren't showing up that well. But, and I'll tell you what this is in a minute. It's out of the Red Heart Boutique Unforgettable in the colorway Parrot. Maybe you guys can see the color a little bit better in the yarn. But yeah, and what I am making out of that 
is, let's see if I can find it in the book. Should I have this marked before I start filming? I'm sorry. Um, what I'm making is the Woodland Scarf that is designed by Jared Flood. And there's a better picture on the next page. I'll show that to you guys. But it's a gorgeous, gorgeous scarf stitch scarf with this beautiful applied lace edging on it. And um, this is coming out of my book that I got for Christmas Brave New Knits by Jolie Turgeman. And I'm loving the pattern so far. I really think it's going to turn out well in this yarn, so we'll we'll see how that goes. Um, and also, I don't even know why I'm showing you guys this, but I will as a reminder. Mom socks. Uh, I haven't worked any on them, so they haven't grown any. I need to get back to these. These are on my Chaigu uh, size 1s, which I believe is a 2.25 millimeter. I'm sorry, I didn't write it down. But I decided to call these the Perfect Storm socks because I have a vision for these socks. I'm designing them as I go. And so, yeah, hopefully you guys will get to see them finished soon. Um, also... Ugh. Yes, everything's tangled up just like last time. I did do a little bit of work on the sweater. Not much. It's got that lovely, lovely kilted cable down the back. So, yeah. I need to get that finished and done so that I can get it to Diane. Because it's winter time. It's cold. She probably wants her sweater. So, I'm going to hurry up and get that done and get that to her. Um... I don't have much else to show you guys this week. I have my Grand Canyon socks, which I did put the heel in. I did this, the simple um, Fish Kiss Slips heel, which I will link in the comments below. It's a dollar on Raverly, but it's, it's the greatest heel I have ever experienced doing for any sock. Once you start it, you will never go back to any other sort of heel. And I just love it. But anyways, these socks, who, which will be going up on my website, they're about a women's U.S. shoe size 6 to 7 and a half. And I only made them that big because I'm sick of working on these. I'm sick of looking at them. I'm sick of the color. Sick, sick, sick of them. So, yeah, these are probably going to be made ankle socks because I just want to get them done. They've been on the needles way too long. Oh. Yeah, and these are also on a size US 2, that's a 2.75 millimeter. And, oh, I have a few more goodies in here to show you guys, which it might be a long sh longer show this week also because I do have some things to talk about. Um, my Hide to Food, I'm going to call it that for the sake of arguing, my Hide to Food cardigan lovely, lovely bit of business here. Back up a little bit. It kind of striped itself, which I didn't want, but I don't mind. And it's, um, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It doesn't look like I got that much done on it, but I did. Because if you guys go back and watch the show, I think it was in episode three or four, showed this to you guys, and I was still working on these sleeves right here. Well, did the three needle bind off to create the sleeves? Got the neck and the back ribbon, ribbing, sorry, ribbing done, and I got into two rows of the first repeat on the body. So that is coming along, and those are worked on a US four, which is a three point five millimeter. And yeah, I don't, I don't know how long it's going to take me to do, get the KAL show done because I really, really want to get this done within the next two weeks to wear it to my contra dance that I'm do, going to next Friday. So, um, by the way, to KAL, there is no time limit. Whenever you finish it, share it with the group, post pictures, whatever. I will post a thread over in the RAV group and sticky it so you guys can post there. But yeah, no time limit. Just it's free for all, basically. Um, also, I am designing something, and it kind of looks like this. I'm not going to tell you what I'm designing or what it is, 
but it kind of looks like a crazy spidery colorful thing so I would love to know what you guys think this is so please comment and let me know um but yeah I kind of feel like a mad scientist knitter because that's kind of what it looks like it kind of looks bad um oh and I didn't bring my other serendipity needle here but these are a US size 8 and they are I don't know how well you guys can see that probably oh you guys can't see that at all okay well it's got the little serendipity uh, thing there and these cute little green sheep with pink bows on their head Let me back up a little bit so you can see that not very well sorry but um, these are handcrafted here in the US they uh, it's white birch that they make their needles from and they hand make the little clay animals or they have ice creams and all sorts of different stuff that they put on the end of them and these were gifted to me so I can't tell you a price on them but I love them and they are great um and the last thing that I'm going to tell you guys is my shop may be down this next week for a bit of revi revising work um, but I will have some items up possibly next week as soon as next mon Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday. But I finished this purple infinity scarf and it's great. It just it wraps around and around like that. And it, it's, it's great. I mean, it's very warm. And I have this little band right here as I do with all my infinity scarves. And I put brightly colored star buttons on it. So if you guys would be interested in having this infinity scarf, it'll be labeled in my shop as a uh, shoot for the stars infinity scarf. And I also finished, you guys might remember me talking about this a few episodes ago. This is a Mobius infinity scarf because I put a twist in it. It's very, whoops, if I can get this right. It's very long. It's very comfy and cozy and soft and squishy. And it's awesome. And I also have, whoops, my monitor is going off. Hold on. This is, is totally not winter related, but, and this needs to be blocked also apparently, but this is a star dish cloth, 4th of July, so you guys might be seeing that a bit later in the year. I did finish that. And last but not least that I finished to put in my shop is, uh, this is out of the Scottish Heath, uh, I believe it was Yarnby Diva Sequin. I'm not quite sure I don't have the ball band but it's this lovely hue of purples and greens and it's got all these sequins in it and it is a slouchy beanie so yes it is on Alicia <laughs> probably be happy to see her huh Ryan um yeah that's all that I have to show you this week and Oh, and I also want to thank everybody who has their subscriptions private, but subscribed anyway. Um, and I want to thank all my friends and family who watch it, even if they haven't subscribed. So, hi Uncle James! Hope you and Carmen are, and the girls are doing well. And also, um, hi Ryan and Sarah. I hope to see you guys soon at the concert dance that I mentioned. Hope you guys are doing well as well. And on that note, I am hitting 13, almost 14 minutes, so I'm going to let everybody go. Have a great week, happy knitting, and I'll see you again next week. Bye!